the risk that you're afraid to take could change your life. We're hey YouTube, it's your girl Queens No Quiche and I'm back with another video. Today, we're gonna have a chat. You know, normally I'm doing my hair or my makeup in these videos, but today we're just gonna talk. Um, I have a message for you today. Yeah, we're getting into it. Um, this message was supposed to be, I was supposed to give this to you guys since April. Um, I had a speaking event in New York. I was invited to speak at the La Union of Haitian Creatives. I was a guest speaker in New York, Brooklyn, New York. And it was an amazing event. And I talked about fear as the speaker. And a lot of people came to me afterwards like, I needed to hear that. And I knew the minute that I was done that God was like, you're going to record this and put this on YouTube. But I didn't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was disobedient. I was, you know what I'm saying? I didn't do it. I didn't do it. And now here we are in June and I have to do it. It, it's like something that has just been on my mind constantly, constantly, constantly. And I keep getting confirmation after confirmation that I'm supposed to be doing this. So, um, you know, I just, if it's in my spirit and I feel like I'm supposed to be doing it, God is telling me, I'm going to do it. Y'all know how we do on this channel. So let's just get right into it. The risk that you're afraid to take could change your life. We're going to start there. The risk that you're afraid to take right now could change your life. It could change your life, your family's life, the people who are going to come after you, the generation and generations after you. The thing that you're fearing is stopping you. And it will continue to stop you if you do not move towards it. So throughout this video, I'm going to say, if you fear it, y'all going to say, get near it. Okay, this is going to be a little play on words. Okay, because I'm not in this alone. We're going to be talking together. Okay, <laughs> me and you. So I, I came up with this abbreviation for fear, which is forgetting everything that is actually. So it's really actually, but I had to, <laughs> y'all get it. Okay, so forgetting everything that is actually your reality. That is my abbreviation for fear. Your obviously is not in the letter fear, but y'all get y'all get what I'm trying to do, okay? So we're going to start with forgetting. And what does that mean? What am I saying when I'm saying this, Keisha? What are you trying to say? Fear will have you forgetting who you are and how far you've come. So recently, I got a I was like I'm going to give a little, you know, a little TED talk in, in between each one. Um recently I got a text from a guy that I talked to from 2019. So this is pre-pandemic, y'all. And he had texted me in 2022. That's that's accurate. And in the text message, he was like, oh, you know, we used to talk and all this stuff. And I was like, I don't have this number even saved. So like, if we did used to talk, send me a screenshot. So he sends me the screenshot. And the first thing I noticed is that the year said 2019. So I automatically knew this person was bored <laughs> and uh, they had much to do. So... I just was reading the thread because he sent me a bunch of the thread that we had, the, how the conversation started, all that stuff. And I was cringing. I said I was cringing. Just reading the way that I was communicating with this man made me realize a lot has changed about me and what I entertain and what I want out of a relationship and what I'm even willing to invest my time into. And with that, going into fear, fear will have you forgetting who you are and where you came from. So it's important to always remember where you started because then you can you can appreciate where you are now. Even if it's not where you want to be, you're going to, if you look back and you're like, whoa, I used to be like this and now I'm like this. Oh, at least, at least I ain't there no more. I'm not where I want to be, right? I'm not the woman I want to be fully. Um, I think we're getting there though. Hey, Keish. Hey, 30. Uh, but... I've come such a long way and it made me embrace it. So fear will have you playing it safe, playing it small and forgetting who you are. So because you don't, because you're so fearful of what to, what is to come, you forget all the accolades or all the accomplishments or all the victories that you've had because you're so stuck on, I can't, or what if I fail, or maybe I'm not meant to be doing this thing versus no, you know what? Let's just step out and do it. And if I fail forward, then that's it. But I'm going to get a lesson from this, right? So don't allow fear to uh, allow you to forget who you are and whose you are, okay? Period. The next one is E, e is for everything. Thing that you know. So 
Fear will allow you to forget everything that you know about yourself and also everything that God has told you about yourself. Every time that I've tried to step out on faith, every time that I've tried to step out and do something greater than myself, fear has always come up and try to tell me other things about myself that's not true. Like, even if it was true at one point in my life, it doesn't mean that that's my truth now, right? So one of those things for me is like, I don't feel like I'm a speaker. Like, even when people ask me to speak, I'd be like, mm -mm -mm. but I am. I'm just, I'm embracing it. I am. And I want to honor that. So if God is calling me in this season to be a speaker and to speak about my experiences and to say the things, fear is going to try to come up and make me forget everything that God told me. And not only everything that he's told me, but everything that people have told me when I speak, how it's impacted or how they needed to hear the word, right? So it's like my yes is attached to so many other people's their goal, their movement. Maybe they just needed that that word to just do whatever it is they had to do. So it's important that you don't forget everything that God said about you and what you know about you. Because who gonna tell you about you better than you? You know what I'm saying? You got you got to keep that. Then the third abbreviation is that is actually. So forgetting everything that is actually. What is your reality? So what's important? I when I first started therapy, one of the things my therapist had me do was write out what happened, scenarios that would happen, then write out how it made me feel. And most of the time, the, the feeling of what I felt wasn't actually the truth, right? So what actually is the reality, yes, I may be hurt by what this person said to me, but that doesn't necessarily mean that that person meant to hurt me, right? The reality is that I dealt with trauma and those are a trigger. When people say specific things about me or this, those are triggers. So instead of me receiving what the person is saying as the person, I've morphed another reality and allowed my feelings to tell me what the truth is. So all that to say is that it's important that we reflect. It's important that we sit back with ourselves and really think like, okay, is this the truth right now? Like, should I not be going towards this because I'm scared? Or should I be going towards this because I'm scared? What's the reality of the thing? It's it's your lies versus reality. You can play it safe or you can not play it safe. And this is why I'm making a video because you need to stop playing it safe. You know what you're supposed to be doing. You know that you can create content. You know that you can do hair. You know that you have a story. You know that um, there's power in what you've been through. But instead of creating a video, you rather scroll on Instagram or scroll on TikTok instead of putting yourself out there and changing your life and the lives of people around you. What you're listening to, what you're hearing is very important, and especially when you're fearful of doing something. You, you gotta tap on another another frequency, as people like to say. Reality, so the last one for the abbreviation of fear is reality. Where are you now? So I remember, <laughs> I remember when, uh, I'm trying to think back when I was like fixing my credit and you know, I always felt like I was going to be a millionaire. I always felt like I was going to be successful. I always felt these things, but the reality is I was not there, right? <laughs> like we got to get real with stuff. I wasn't there and because I wasn't there, I had to be real about that. Like, okay, God, I believe that these things are going to take place, but where I am right now, it can't happen. So what do I need to do? What are the steps that I need to do to get to where I believe that I already am? I believe that the, that I am this woman. I believe that I have these things. I believe that I, I can be a full-time entrepreneur. I could be debt-free. I'm believing those things, but my steps, my action steps, where am I taking? So it's important for you to know where you are. And it wasn't until I got real with myself and wrote down every single debt that I owe, every single dollar, dime, cent, everything that I owe. And I was intentional about paying it back, intentional about where my money was going, intentional about budgeting, intentional about these things, taking steps to get to being free or to get to being a millionaire or even for um, what is it called? health reasons if you're trying to lose weight. There's certain steps that you have to take. So I want to encourage you guys to realize where you are and where you are doesn't mean that's where you have to stay, but you have to be real about where you are in order for you to get to where you got to get to, right? In order for you to get past the fear, in order for you to get 
to the goal or whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish. The best thing you can do is fail forward. I know you, we've heard it before. Will Smith has said it. Many people have said that, but it's, it's really allow yourself to be a child again. Allow yourself to try things. Like, you know how when you got, I remember they used to give us free time and we could trace and draw how we wanted to draw and everybody's pictures came out the same, but we had all the same colors. So we'd have red, you know, we'd have the, the crayon set. Everybody would have the same crayon set, but everybody's picture would come out differently. And even if we all had red or even if we all had blue, right? It would come out differently because it was us individually creating, hang, having that free space. I think um, we need to move like that. We need to move in like, okay, I'm interested in art, um, but I don't have everything I need and I'm not really an artist and nobody in my family has done this before. So what? <laughs> so what? Start drawing, start creating the art, start putting it out there. We have so much access to things, especially with social media. I would even encourage you to as much time as you're on social media, make sure you're posting at least two to three times on here instead of scrolling for two to three hours, right? So if you are gonna be on here for two to three hours, okay, enjoy it, laugh, whatever, but create something, put something out there that can encourage one or two people. Like, even for me, like, I, this video I was supposed to been create, right? I was supposed to been put it out there, but like, imagine how many people's yes or how many people's, um, um, I can't think of the word right now, or how many people's next steps are attached to me just putting out that fear is holding you back. And the, the thing that you're afraid to, to, the risk that you're afraid to take could possibly change your life. I'm even speaking to myself when I'm saying this, like everything that God pours down into me is for me, but also for other people. And that's what I'm learning. So we're gonna do these weekly check-ins. They're gonna call, we're gonna call them check-ins with Quiche on the Queens No Quiche channel. So if you're not already subscribed to this channel, make sure you subscribe. If you watch this all the way to the end, type in fear it. If you fear it, get near it. We didn't even do the ad libs, Quiche. You just went on, I just went on and on and on. But um, it's important for you guys to get near the things that you're fearing. I don't know why I have to keep talking about this or reiterating it, but somebody needs to hear this and I know it. I know that I know that I know. So go be great. We'll do weekly check-ins. I'm going to try to figure out what's the best day for them. Um, today's Wednesday and I'll definitely be posting this on a Wednesday. So maybe it'll be midweek. It'll be like a midweek check-in where we just, I just let out whatever it is I feel like God is putting in me to give to you guys. So have the most amazing week or the weekend or whenever you're seeing this. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Let me know that you watched it all the way through. I love you guys. Go be great. Until we meet again. <laughs>